In the present times, the Bharatiya Janata Party and the allies of the National Democratic Alliance govern 44% of India's territory and 49.6% of its population. This has been the public discourse. Is this the only truth? Or are there many layers to it? There is an imbalance in BJP's national versus regional popularity. However, the Modi Shah-led BJP has changed its game plan. Hi and welcome to TFI English, the national socio-political analysis arm of the TFI Media Group. I'm your host Piyush. If you're watching us on Facebook, give our page a like and if you're watching us on YouTube, like the video and subscribe to the channel. Coming back to the story, in this video, let's talk about the regional party code that Modi Shah's BJP has just cracked. In 1947, India gained its long-craved independence after the Britishers exited from India. Since then, the polity and politics of India have evolved drastically. Inheriting the legacy of national movement, Congress dominated the first few elections of the independent India. It was a dominant party between 1947 and 1967, though it lost much of its sheen in the late 1960s. Ending the Congress's hegemony, parties like the Socialist Party, Swatantrita Party, along with Janata Dal, Bharatiya Jan Sangh, and Communist parties came up. Around the same time, Regional parties were established that were still enjoying a firm hold over their own zones of influence. Today, while the BJP governs 49% of the population, it still is not a contender in many states as it has not been able to put up a fight in front of regional parties. PM Narendra Modi's meteoric rise in 2014 reduced Congress to rubble as the electoral number was reduced to below 50. This was at the center. The NDA alliance did not halt here. The BJP along with its allies went on snatching the bastions of Congress, be it in Rajasthan, Haryana, Uttarakhand or Madhya Pradesh among others. From Maharashtra in the west to Tripura in the northeast, the Saffron Party has been expanding its horizon on the cost of Congress. Along with the Congress, the left parties have also lost ground. The Bharatiya Janata Party may have kicked out Congress from its impregnable fortresses, but the BJP could not win over the regional parties, barring a few countable exceptions. The NDA alliance tried to make its foray into the much-ignored Northeast, allied with the regional parties, and now has its government in almost every state. The formula applied here is snatching regional parties from the folds of Congress. The same alliance fails in South except in Karnataka, where it defeated Congress. Be it Tamil Nadu, Kerala, Andhra Pradesh or Telangana. In every state, BJP is insignificant in terms of electoral strength and the power resides with regional leaders like Stalin, Vijayan, Reddy and KCR respectively. In Jharkhand too, BJP lost to regional Jharkhand Mukti Morcha. So, what is it like? Has the BJP failed in understanding the local politics? and the issue of these states or the BJP being a national party could not establish a connection with the locals. Well, the truth is entirely different. The regional parties ruled through a code that none could crack, the code of freebies. Every regional party banks on freebies, be it in granting loan waivers, free transport or distributing scooters, laptops, cycles or mixer grinders. And Arvind Kejriwal is not the only culprit. Regional parties have been banking on freebies to woo voters of the state. And this is how the regional parties have turned their particular states into impregnable fortresses. Freebies have taken a prominent place in India's electoral politics. Despite being aware of the fact that freebies will put an additional burden on the exchequer, regional parties have been competing against each other in the run-up to elections by announcing a string of freebies to woo voters. However, PM Modi has rung the death knell for regional parties thriving on freebies. The day PM Modi talked about ravery culture, the signal was clear. PM Modi has called upon the Indians to say a clear-cut no to the ones distributing freebies. PM Modi said, the followers of ravery culture will never build expressways, airports and defence corridors. And this is how the regional parties will meet their destined fate and will soon turn into history. Modi Shah's BJP has hit the hammer where it hurts the most on freebies. An end to freebies will mark the end of regional parties, simultaneously marking the saffronizing of the states. 